so as usual, I was scrolling Twitter and I saw a new article actually for side order. They actually were talking to the developers. This is from NDWJP, like I guess it's some news outlet. And I'll have the actual like developers up here so that I don't mess up their names and you guys make fun of me. But there's a whole article basically just talking about side order and everything that they like basically went through for the actual game. And to be honest, there's a lot of lore pieces here, little things that they've added to just extend the story or more things about that. But to me, you, you guys already know when it comes to this whole lore stuff, I'm gonna tell you to go check out the article. I'm gonna have the article scrolling. But there was one thing here. Now, you guys know I absolutely love Side Order. It was probably one of my better experiences with like Nintendo Splatoon stories, in my opinion. I loved Octo Expansion. Octo Expansion was amazing. And yes, I do believe that it's the better one when you really sit down and like talk about it. But Side Order actually might be my favorite. And I, I've continued to play it even after. I like just the initial playthrough and just like, you know, the hype cycle of it all. But yeah, you know, it's a single player roguelike. It's very good. I think that they did an amazing work to do with everything about it. And just even the weapons that you see in the lobbies now, you can definitely see that it was something that like a lot of people enjoyed. Now there's something for me. I want to see more of this content. I want to see more of Side Order. Now I'm not saying that it's going to be like, you know, next week. I, I'm not hoping for that. I'm not, For anybody that's here and is like, oh, you just want more content. No. All right. If it is next, like, you know, the next five years, all right, cool. At least they thought about it. It would suck that it would take that long, but there's this one thing that was brought up in the article that I actually have to bring up. And it's, is there any possibility that the game system will be expanded in the future or that it will become the basic gameplay of the series? Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm very worried about this one thing because I think that this is, something that we may not see again. And when you look back with like, you know, just all the stories and stuff like that, like they didn't really go back to like Octo expansion. They took elements of it and like went forward. So it's just really the Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 stories where they kind of just basically do the same thing. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, no, like I, what I'll say about this is I was really hoping that we would get more. I was really hoping that they'll try this again. But as I said, the developer actually spoke about this, Matt Sumoto, I'm, I'm, I apologize for butchering that. I don't know what the future holds, but I believe that with this release of Side Order, we have been able to expand the gameplay of Splatoon. It seems that some customers are playing games like, I'm guessing they're, they're just talking about Rank and Salmon Run, again, after playing Side Order, and I feel that Splatoon as a whole is becoming more popular. I hope that by continuing these efforts, we can expand the possibilities of Splatoon. Now, and that's just basically them saying that they don't know what's gonna happen with this. See, that just also means that like, you know, content extensions for this is, I know it wasn't gonna happen. I had a little bit of copium. That's really all it is. You can laugh at me in the comments. I don't really care. I had copium for it. Like, I, I know it wasn't gonna happen, but yeah. So I think a lot of us knew this was like the potential of it. It could just end with Splatoon 3 and then going into Splatoon 4 because they like doing different things every single time. And it's showing that they like to do different things. So let me know what you guys think about this. I think that like, I'm gonna be very disappointed if we don't get anything like side order like again, in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think. Also, if you guys haven't already, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out with just getting into the algorithm and trying to expand these videos. So if you guys are enjoying them, please do that. So Splatfest is always a hot topic and we already know that we're coming up to the final one. Actually, well, I, I don't think it is, but the final one that's actually in the system, funny enough, Oatmeal Dome tweeted, now that Springfest is over, there is only one unused special Splatfest left with the code name Sweat. So is this the final fest? The code name seems summery. So maybe it'll take place in sizzle season. It could also be a separate summer theme splat fest. I'm gonna go with that. I think that it's a it's a summer theme splat fest. And more than likely that we're gonna get something when they put it actually in the finals for like, you know, the actual last splat fest. And I, I do think they're also going to just reuse Splatfest again. I think they'll just extend that over. I don't think that's like content extension since they're already in the game. They could possibly just like reuse them again for another year. But that's up to you if you like Splatfest. So they continued and said, of course, Nintendo could always just add another type of Final Fest in a future update. Also, I previously said that 
This type is named Sweet. The actual name appears to be Sweat, and the devs just misspelled it in some places. Most of these were fixed in 7.0.0. And a quick reminder in case it's needed, special Splatfests are Splatfests with unique characteristics like Springfest, Frostyfest, Splatoween, etc. So yeah, I, I don't think that like, you know, this, this is going to be the last one. I think they're gonna probably update it for the next one when we get like a Final Fest or whatever it is. You never know, man. The, the, you know, there, I don't blame you guys for keeping the hope alive for a content extension. I don't blame you at all. Do you guys remember when like the Inklings used to get really sad in Splatoon 1 and the music was like super like dramatic? You remember when like we went into Splatoon 2 and like Nintendo completely changed it? Well, it turns out a lot of people didn't like the sad demeanor of it all and taking it out like that and they changed it. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because of Fortnite and Fortnite actually is adding a setting so certain emotes can't be seen because they were being used in confrontational ways. We're cooked. I don't think that we're cooked in all honesty. Nintendo has been doing this for years. Now, the route that Fortnite is trying to go and they actually tweeted about this. We want emotes to be a source of good vibes, but a few cough take the L, cough, can sometimes feel a bit overly confrontational. Tomorrow's updates will introduce a new confrontational emote settings to toggle visibility on these emotes. Now, for a lot of other people, some people are annoyed by this. And to be honest, like, yeah, they, I mean, in the past, the, the game used to be a little bit more like rigged and stuff like that with people like, you know, teasing others and doing things, throwing people off a cliff, so whatever you want to say. But with the family-friendly demeanor that Fortnite is trying to go, this makes sense because nintendo has it you can't taunt in like super smash brothers online like they they've taken away a lot of things because of this so just because they want you know the game to like just be more open to everybody they've made it a toggle like it's, it's actually really not even that big of a deal to be honest with you like that that's that's all it is it, it's really not that big of a deal the person gets to do it they don't get annoyed anymore that's really it that's really it i have to ask you guys a question because i feel like this Topic comes up every single year when they talk about like Fortnite and Nintendo like collabing with each other where people have wanted like, you know, certain skins to come over Mario holding like an AK-47. You'd be really tall and look really awkward or like Princess Peach or even just Samus. But I swear to you that we've had this conversation already. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe this is finally getting confirmed that it actually happened. But uh, Sheena actually posted this on like X and it said Twitter, by the way. Sorry, I actually just said X. That's gross. Samus Aran never got into Fortnite because Nintendo declined Epic Games' offer. That's not surprising at all. Nintendo wanted their skins to only be visible on the Switch. Epic Games wasn't okay with that. But I feel like Nintendo has done this in the past. And then, like, I think you guys have actually educated me on this about the fact that they did it with Minecraft. And somebody was even telling me that Rocket League had a similar thing where it's just you get to use the skin on the Switch and that's really it. I feel like Nintendo has been doing this for years, even when they want to collab. It's just, hey, we just want it exclusively on our console and that's really it. I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Like at the end of the day, I feel like they could have really done it because I'm guessing there's a decent amount of people that also just use the Switch. It's, I, I don't think it's that crazy. If you wanted it to work, that would have probably been the best way. I wanted to read the rest of this article, but it wants you to do a like trial for it. So yeah, I'm sorry to tell you that that wasn't going to happen. But what do you guys think? I, I feel like Nintendo's IPs are just way too strong for them to be like handing them out like that. Like in my opinion, like if they do it, it's going to pr probably be like a movie, not just some random game or Fortnite's not a random game, but you know what I mean. But yeah, what do you guys think about this? So I'm just scrolling and minding my business. And as you guys already know, I talked about recently all the people that have been bringing up the ROMs and how Nintendo really might need to pay attention to like, you know, what's going on in the internet and possibly be a little bit better with getting their games out there. I don't know. But I saw this tweet from this person that said, so Nintendo is just okay with everyone playing illegal ROMs on the iPhone. Bro, come on, man. Like, I'm going to be very honest with you here. Like, no, they are not. They are fuming. They are trying to get their army of lawyers together to stop this. We all know they're fuming. Like, we get this. But we have, as a people, have understood that, you know what? What happens, happens. And that's really it. It's been going on from time to time. And that's, that's all you can do. They've been doing this before. It comes up. They knock it down. It comes back again in some different form. And they knock it down again. It's a it's a long running like fight between pirates 
and gaming companies. You can't stop, it's impossible. So you guys already know about the 3DS and the Wii U shut down. So there was somebody that actually tweeted this, trying to explain the concept of server shutdown to my crying daughter because she can't get online to do dreams in Animal Crossing 3DS. Now that the servers are shut down, thanks Nintendo. I don't know if they were trolling, but all I have to say is I, I imagine trying to like console a child about the fact that no, you can't play your 3DS anymore. Nintendo turned it off. And that's actually like one of the funny things about like these situations, cause the, it, it's real. Like there are parents that give their kids older consoles and they don't realize they're just playing and that's really it. But something like this actually could happen. And that's actually really interesting that like Nintendo would do this again, but hey, what can you do about it? But I'm gonna catch you guys later. Don't forget to have an amazing day. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to walk outside. Peace out.